Scholar. Google Scholar is a very cool service from Google that lets you access the best quality scholarly articles on virtually any subject. You may have heard in other courses about um, databases like EBSCOhost. Well, Google is really cool because it accesses those databases, um, many different databases like that, not just EBSCOhost, and gives you all of those publications in one place. So it's very convenient and it's very user-friendly. So here's how to use it. Whenever you have to find a research article published in a scholarly journal, you go to the address scholar.google.com and in the search bar you can type the topic that you want to research. But before you do this, uh, one important thing to do is to link Google Scholar to our library, the Westchester University Library, so that every time our library has a full text resource or a full text article available, you're going to see this in Google. Here's how to do it. Click on Settings and then on Library Links and type in Westchester University. and then click select Westchester University and remember to save your settings. Now when you search for any topic, whenever WCU has an electronic version of a given article, it's going to show up in results. So let's say that I'm interested in text messaging and how it's used in romantic relationships. Hit the search buttons. And this is the results page. The titles of the different articles are in um, blue, they are hyperlinked. But what you want to do if you want to access the full text version of an article is not to click on the title but to find a link to the full text version on the right hand side. As I said, whenever our, our university has a full text version, electronic version of the article, or printed version of the article, you're going to find this link here. Find it at Westchester University. So, for example, take this third result here. Texting, sexting, and attachment in college students' romantic relationships. So this sounds like something that might be interesting. If I want to make sure that I really am interested in this topic, I can click on the title and read the abstract, which is a short summary of the article. See, down here is the abstract. Okay, this looks interesting, so I want to get it. Now, many students at this point get stuck on the title page of the article and they see these uh, purchase links and they either get discouraged from searching or they some people actually end up paying for articles. You should never have to pay for a single article while you are a Westchester University student. We go back to the results page again and click on the find it at WCU link. And this page shows you the availability of this article through our library. It is available in two formats. Um, an electronic format, I know it because I have this um, article link right here. So let me try and access it. I click on it. It's redirecting me to a database. Hmm, and this one doesn't seem to be working, although hang on. Yeah, this one's asking me for access. 
uh, code or the, for the for the user ID and password. So that sometimes links will be broken, just like in this case. And sorry about this faulty example. But I'm going to try it a different way. I clicked on the journal link and I am looking up the texting article right now. Okay, it doesn't seem to be there. All right. And it's not there because volume 28 isn't, oh wait, it is available here. I should be able to access it, let's see here. Here it is. Texting, sexting, and attachment in college students' romantic relationships. Let's hope this will open a full text version of the article. Yay, here we go. Okay, this is the article. I didn't pay a penny for it. Um, it's all of the text of the article, including the references. Ready for reading, downloading, printing. So I had to poke and prod around a little bit to get to it, but I eventually did. Now, sometimes you're not going to have a direct article link. You're only going to have this journal link and the annotation that is available through Westchester University print holdings. That simply means you have to um, get yourself over to the university library, find the physical printed bound journal, and photocopy the article. And this will tell you where it is. And if you have any problems finding an article like that, just ask the librarian. They will help you. Now, let's say that I really like this and I want more articles just like it on the same topic, closely related to this. There are two ways in which I can use Google Scholar to quickly give me similar articles. One is the related articles link that is always available under each record in Google Scholar. When you click on it, you should be able to get things on the related topic or topics. So here we have at the top, there's always going to be our main article that we already found. And then we have other stuff here, sexting and adult romantic attachment, sexting behaviors among young Hispanic women, incidents in association with other high, high risk sexual behaviors. So this seems all to be focusing on sexting. But here, mobile communication in romantic relationships, mobile phone use, unrelational uncertain, relation uncertainty, love, commitment, and attachment styles. That kind of goes along with that first record. So once again, you can click at, uh, on Find It at WCU and see if our library can get you the full text link right away. It looks like it can. At least two different ways through which you can get the full text, but let me see if it, this is going to work. Right here, PDF full text. And whenever I am in EBSCO or a similar database, I will always look for this PDF icon next to the article title somewhere so I can uh, know that I will be able to download the article to my computer. There you go. Again, didn't pay a penny for it. And that's the way it should, it should always be while you are a student at Westchester University. Another way to look up related articles, in addition to clicking on related, related articles link, is simply clicking on the cited by link. This shows you everybody who published an article after this particular article and cited this article in their work. So you are going to find some related um, stuff here as well. 
Sexting is media production. Lots about sexting again. Must be a popular topic. Oh, here's one. Young adults use communication technology within their romantic relationships and associations with attachment styles. So once again, related to the topic. Available through Westchester University in full text link. And sometimes um, you can also click on this all six versions link. And here you're going to get more detailed full text links through our Westchester University Library. So this is a way to get to the article on a deeper level, so to speak, if something's not working. And um, another quick cheat here that you can use is this. Um, right by these links at the bottom, you also have a citation um, guide that is information how to cite a given article. In our class we're going to be use, using APA citation style. So right here in the middle you have the correct APA citation for this article. You can just copy it, paste it in your paper, format it accordingly and be done with the APA references list very very quickly.